Hey everybody, welcome to Sam Livecast. It's Friday, it's the last day of all of week and What's the date today? I don't know. It's Friday. It doesn't matter. You've got until August 16th to enter for a place to compete in the Cook Your Way to Kauai contest at the Sam Livecast and maybe you go from 8 to 4 to 2 to 1 and you win and you get to go with somebody that you love to Kauai with me, with Max, with Master Chef in the back. How much fun are we going to have? I'm oh, just saying. Yeah. We you, don't know you if you got to enter. There's no reason like there's, there's no reason to be on your butt right now saying, "Yeah, maybe." Right. Because you got to enter. Well, here's what you have to do. Send a picture of you, a picture of the food that you would make in the preliminary round if you got picked and the recipe. That's it. You got nothing to lose right now. That's just, it? That's Well, yeah. Wow. I mean, it's and not a we'll whole pick, lot. Look at that. Right. We're going to pick. Wow, look at that. We're going to pick four people. No, we're not. I'm an idiot. We're going to pick eight people. <laughs> and those eight people are going to compete right here. Right here while I sit and do live casts from there. It's going to be so fun. But you can't win if you don't enter. I'm just saying. All right. Uh, we're making a um, snapper puttanesca, but like foil packet style, kind of simple. Huh. <laughs> Lynn. Huh. I mean, you hear a pasta puttanesca. Right. Well, why can't there be a fish puttanesca? Well, now there is. A whore fish. I mean, hey, we remember that puttanesca is the, is the sauce that uh, restaurants in Italy would make for the prostitutes late at night. And they would make it with leftover tomatoes and olives and capers and stuff like that. Olives, of course, it's olive wheat. So... That's what we're going to do. But rather than just make the sauce and then put it on top, we're going to try this little thing where we throw it all into the oven, wrap it up in a foil packet, make it delicious. It's a lot of foil, dude. It's a lot of noise, too, we man. We probably should have really... beforehand, yeah. God, I'm really sorry. And I wanted them to be similar sized. I'm, too, I'm far too anal for myself. Two foil packets mean... Two pieces of fish. What kind oh of fish God. are we working with? Snapper. Oh, yeah. Oh, the noise. For God's sakes. And now you're really bright. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet I am. Okay, so um, uh, the oil I'm using for this is um, this smoked olive oil from Sonoma. From We Olive. I mean, look, it, you're used to seeing me pull We Olive bottles out. Maybe not this giant... <laughs> wine size ones that they now have. Which I'm so glad I have this. This one's the uh, Arbequina uh, olive oil. Unbelievable, unbelievable. If you only buy one olive oil, one extra virgin olive oil the rest of your life, that should be the one that you buy. But in addition to this, in addition to the, the age balsamic that I think is one of the best ones out there, they also sell uh, OPS, other people's stuff. This smoked olive oil is one of them, and we're going to use it on the fish. Nice. Yes. One of the other things they sell is this skillet bacon spread. Oh, yes. Is this from those guys up in Portland? I don't I know, so. but that's. I feel like. I've been like, wanting to try that for the longest time. Well, we got it right here. Uh, no, Seattle, sorry. This is very like Pacific Northwest, you know, hipsters. I'm making a sandwich with it. So I want, I want a little oil on the bottom uh, to keep the fish from sticking. So I'll just drizzle some here. And then do this, and then do this, and then we'll put a piece here of the snapper, and then a piece here of the snapper. Oh, wow, pin bone, really major pin bone, hold on. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't see this coming. You have to really watch, folks, when you buy fish, that sometimes these bones, I mean, they're often taken out. But, you know, they're taken out by people, so they'll miss them. Yeah, well, I don't think this whole piece got missed. Jeez, look at and look at the oh size my gosh. of gosh. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Those bones inside yeah. you, that would F you up. I mean, I think for sure you would taste this. I don't think you would get this in your mouth and then swallow unknowingly. So that no, should I, be out of there, correct? Well, yeah, I don't think it was on the other one. I swallowed pin bones in my life, man. It sucks. Jeez. See this one? I don't know. There's a couple there still. Shit. Sorry, I would have done this. I didn't. But now we're learning, right? Yeah. 
And all you gotta do is run your hands along the side of the fish. So don't be like afraid this, to touch right? your food. There's another one. Thank you, Master Chef. I'm just saying, man. No, I hear you. People are like, ew, fish, ew, chicken. Right, one, two, ah. <laughs> now I'm mad. This is, and now who's gonna be even madder? Max, because <laughs> you know how Max doesn't like it when I have to spend time doing useless things like this. He goes, people don't need to see that. So this is at least interesting, this though, because pretty useful. it's an important well, thing to know how to do. And I've just got this little pair of, uh, what are these things? Tweezers. Tweezers. These are not official ones. But I stole these from Kelly at some point just to keep down here. They make special ones for this. You can go online and find like fish bone tweezers. Wow. Okay, this is the last time. I got one more. Like daggers in there. I got, shit. Sorry, now I can't, I can't freaking stop. Look at this. Now I'm just, okay, that's it, I'm done. Done. And now I'm pissed off. All right. And now I need a towel. Okay. Fish here, right? Fish here, fish here. Okay, here's what we're putting on these. It's, it's olive week, so you know there's going to be olives, right? So let's just bust these guys up. Rough chop, we talked about that. We've talked about it before. We talked about it when we made that so good, delicious, um, caramelized onion, blue cheese, olive bread the other day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? So you just bust these guys up a little bit. Okay. Okay. Olives? Olives. Simple concept, right? Everything sort of just tries to live on top of the fish. Huh, so are you doing that in lieu of salting the fish now, or? No, 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 I'll add a little tiny bit at the end. Uh-huh, okay. Because they're but, pretty salty as it is, right? Uh, the olives? Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So I thought I had some open cap Oh, I do. Capers? We all, we all know and love capers, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think love the capers. little bud of a flower. Kind of vinegary. Kind of vinegary, kind of peppery. And they're brined, right? And they're brined and they're super delicious. I mean, I really think that they make just a really nice addition to a whole lot of things. There's a, I think we did it, a pizza with lox and sort of goat cheese and stuff. Smoked salmon, I mean. And it has uh, capers on top of it that are fantastic. Keeps all, I need some garlic, I need some, uh, why am I going here? I don't know. I want this, I want. Oh, tomatoes. You know, tomatoes, which is a, a, a part of this. Yeah. Um, it might be, you know, tomato paste or sauce or something, but we're gonna use these whole little guys. We're gonna get our knife. We're just gonna do this. Cut just tomatoes. cut these guys in half. They're gonna be better Jeez. cut. Oh, Max, I could have had this done, right? Oh my God, please play some like elevator music or something while I'm doing it. So that's why like you missed my joke. You're like, we're just gonna do this right now. And I, oh, just cut a hundred little tomatoes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, sorry. It doesn't take that long. No, it's all I would have been okay if I didn't have to debone that stupid snapper. It's true. And who walked in that's crashing around in the other room? I believe that is Kelly. Oh, God. The smell? The smell is here. Oh and by God. the way, when we say the smell, she doesn't smell. It's because she used to be called Smelly, Smelly Kelly when say she was Oh, Kelly look who's there. Hi, Ma. And there she is. Hi, Hi, baby. Put the headphones on. Oh, wait. You had to switch headphones. It's me. okay. Don't worry about it. Hang out with us. Yeah, hang out with it. Okay, so ready? So now we've got tomatoes. We're gonna try and just do this. Oh, that looks good. So Keep far, so thing. good. So far, so good. Okay, good, I'm happy. I'm glad you're happy, because this is all for you. <laughs> Kelly looks like a little kid next to me, doesn't she? <laughs> Lynn? Yeah. Everybody looks like a little kid next to you. True. No, no kidding. 6'3", six, Lynn? 6'3"? Six, 6'5". Three. Six, six, three. Wow, Sorry. that was... Whoa, I just knocked you down a couple inches. That was a little Big insulting, deal. dude. Okay, so let me think. We've got this, we've got this. Oh, garlic. Yes, 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 yes. Garlic I need. Oh, God. I could have done this. Max, I know nice Max outfit, is mad honey. right now. Say what? Nice outfit. Oh, I know, you hate this. 
<laughs> you hate this outfit. I mean, is it the shorts? It's the plaid. She hates plaid. Uh oh, Lynn's wearing plaid. I know. Max, I haven't seen you yet. Yeah, she doesn't plaid? criticize other people. She criticizes me for the plaid. Max got a T-shirt on. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Some garlic here, and I'm just gonna do this because I could cut it, but it would happen. It would take too long, and I, I don't want it to take too long because I know I'm feeling the heat from Max's dirty gaze over there on the other side of that camera. His arm's getting sore, and, <laughs> and he saw me cut tomatoes, and I had to take those pin bones out. He's upset about that, so here we go. We're almost done. Defensive much? Okay, so nail garlic. I don't really know how to do this. See, here's the problem. When I don't chop it up, there's not a really good way to... Oh, this is going to be fine. What kind of fish is that? It's a snapper, Lou. Nice. Yeah, so we're almost done. So, okay, we got this going, right? We've got the garlic, we've got the snapper, we've got the olives. We've got this. We're almost there, we're almost there. And now this super delicious smoked olive oil from We Olive is going over the top. And don't be shy with it. I mean, you want, you want it to be like flavored up and moistened, and that's what this is gonna do. Look how nice that looks. I feel like we should take a picture of this. We should. Do you wanna come out and should take I a run picture? Outside and... Will it be boring for people? Uh, Probably. Yeah. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, let's do this. I'm gonna seal one up, right? So they can see what's gonna happen. Okay. Oh, sorry, I said salt, and I want a little pepper here. And I want that to stop leaking. Pepper. Okay, here you go. Now what you want is you want this thing to steam in this little packet. So you wanna seal this up super well. Like this. Like this. And then this piece rolls in. Find out your end. This piece goes in. It goes on a baking sheet. Like that. And what's cool is everybody at the table, if that was the environment that we had, would get their own. They could open it up in front of them. Okay? So this is going on here. It's going into my oven. My oven's at 350. It's gonna take, it's gonna take about 15 minutes. It's not very thick. Right? We come back, we sit down at the table, we talk some more, then we open these guys up after, we eat them, we love them. It's the end of all of week. Mm. It's all good. And Kelly's here today. Don't go anywhere. Don't. What inspires a man to perform such tender acts of love and devotion? That'll do it. And yes, we do love you, Fixtures Living. Oh, wait. And yes, we do love you, Perch. The new Fixtures Living. P-I-R-C-H. Can't uh, wait to cook there. Haven't got used to it yet, man. Uh, it's taken a while. I, I didn't like it when I first heard it. I love the name now. Mm -hmm. I love it. Everybody should go purchase something from <laughs> that's, Perch. That's funny. <laughs> they should, subliminal. Uh, that should be their, their, their thing should say purchase receipt or something. P-I-R-C-H. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's funny, Max. That's very good. Hey, let's just acknowledge our friend sitting over there. Hey, there she is. Hey, what Snow. up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> I like that Perch business I hear you talking about. Yeah, that's you cute. Do. Yeah, it is cute, isn't <laughs> it? The purchase receipt. That's, that's super cute. cute. Yeah, yeah. It's Max's idea. <laughs> I will keep it for my own. Uh, look who's sitting beside me on the table. Ooh. Pickles. These, these are flower. the pickles we made the other day. Nice. Uh, for Dill Pickle Week. Oh, wow. Uh, all you got to do is go to thesamlivecast.com and you can check out all of our amazing past weeks. Oh, yeah, I do need to put the recipe week. up for that. Uh, let's put the camera over there. Let's ask the little girl, Kelly. Yes. How were the pickles? Well, I ate... An entire jar in about 12 minutes. <laughs> Honestly, Max. Flat. I, and I'm I, not I, exaggerating. I, it's funny. You know what? We made pickles once, dill pickles. Wow. 
and they were great. Second time we made him, the first two jars out of the batch were no bueno, like no bueno at all. Mm. This batch that I quickly threw together in the live cast a week or so ago, unbelievable. Unbelievable. And this is my new style. I won't do them whole anymore. I'm always going to do this. The spears. The spears. But I, I think it's better. Wait, 10 days are about? I thought it, I thought it took three no, weeks or well, upwards of that. No, 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 no. It doesn't. You can leave them longer, mm. but uh, they were they were in the fridge. I put them in the fridge like eight eight days after. Mm -hmm. They're perfect. I, I They'll still question. continue to b develop a little dill flavor, but question? Yeah. So I have a friend that's making these. Yes. And he did it the same day that we did it. So he, yes. But he put vinegar in his brine. Is that you're there's supposed vinegar to, in the brine? How much? Not very much. Okay. I mean. Because he got his recipe somewhere else, but he was making his pickles with you. So, so here's the deal. These, this, uh, the cauliflower that we just did the other day mm -hmm. has a brine with much more vinegar than this one. Mm -hmm. Less brine in the pickle, more brine in like this or like green beans, that kind of stuff. Got it. I mean, more vin yes, more vinegar in this brine than in this brine. What's the reason for that? I think that uh, like beans and uh, cauliflower, they're just harder. To, it's harder to get through. Got it. There's more mass, more density or something. Okay. I don't really know. <laughs> All I know is the pickle recipe that I got way back had more in that. These are outstanding. The last time we made these, don't know about this batch yet. These are super outstanding. And I made these on Sunday when I also um, smoked a... No, smoked a, well, I smoked a brisk, a, 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 a pork shoulder just because it was that kind of day. Uh -huh. That picture's on, on Twitter or something. Wow. The, uh, the pork shoulder before it went in. I didn't take, I don't have after pictures, but you boys have now both tried it. And yes. Oh my God. It was so good. We had little pork sandwiches. Jeez, so good. Pulled with pulled the pork coleslaw? sandwiches with the coleslaw. Yeah. Which by the way, crucial. The coleslaw? I think the cold crunchiness of the coleslaw with, with the, the warm pork the warm oh. fatty melty of it's the amazing. pulled pork so good right yeah it's honestly it's just unreal oh wow and here it is here what is oh yeah that's there's pre. the pickles there's that's pre that's the rub that's the rub that went on the night before mm. super easy same rub i used for the brisket that was unbelievable that you guys took up the sonoma that i didn't get to eat mm. and i didn't <laughs> also get to eat at um Mission Chinese, maybe the hottest Chinese food restaurant in the country. Mm. I ordered all the food that you guys had. Wait, no. You didn't actually have everything that I told you to order. Somebody didn't order the Kung Pao pastrami. Which is like what they're known for. And how, how could you not order something <laughs> that they're known for? Mom? Oh, I yourself. didn't know they were known for that. Well, we okay, didn't know they I were put known it on the for list. It. Just or, don't don't argue. Just well, order. I, I have oh, to do whoa. one thing to wreck it for you. You know that. No, hold on. That that statement. I put it on the list. Just do it. If we just blindly followed you and <laughs> everything, like we would have had seventeen dishes. Hey, wait. So we what like, was yeah, what was one more? Yeah. Wait a second. By the way, was the food that I told you to order at uh, Glen Ellen Star not fantastic? No, it was fantastic. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to. There's nothing else more I can say. <laughs> I'm going to change the subject in a very big way. Let's do it. Let me ask you first. Do you know what this is? And let me just start by saying, come off that for a second. Come off that thing. It's a little slow. Let me just start by saying, if there's kids in the room, May should probably leave. Oh, this kind of topic. Oh, jeez. All right. Get out of here, little kids. Or earmuffs. Okay. This is... Want me to show it now? Mm-hmm. Jersey Joe's Restaurant, pizza joint, here in San Diego. Mm -hmm. Why is it famous? No. I don't know. No clue. Diners, drives, and dives. No, it's not famous for that. Okay. It's famous because the owner of it was caught masturbating Shut on a up. closed circuit camera I, in the back of his restaurant. I don't even want that oh. full screen. <sighs> Why are we Are you that, kidding me? He says that it's is not him. Jacked up. I don't even know <laughs> what. <laughs> jacked up? No, no pun, pun intended. <laughs> oh, jeez. O-M-G. That is. O-M-G. Oh, oh, it's an old guy, too. It's not me in the photo, and that's <laughs> not my pizzeria. I thought you were going to say that's not. Giuseppe Joe Siri told uh, a Huffington Post. Oh. 
He, he went on to say that he fired two guys recently and suggested that he might be the victim of a disgruntled ex-employee. <laughs> In Photoshop or something? <laughs> the bombshell dropped when uh, a website posted links to several mm. random unsecured webcams. That's when those users claim they found him doing what he was doing and took screenshots. The photo shows a man in a white t-shirt and shorts sitting at a desk with, yeah, doing what he's doing. So it's disgruntled, <laughs> em essentially it's disgruntled employees who, who found this footage of him jerking it yes. and then, and then wow. got back at him by dishing this out. It's kind of brilliant. Yes. <laughs> he says it's not him. <sighs> Just like Anthony Weiner said those pictures weren't him. Oh man. Mm. <laughs> Anthony Wayne. <laughs> Somebody, I can't remember who it was, but I got to get this off my computer. The I can't digital even flasher. look at that anymore. Oh. Yeah, that's Jeez. bad. That's unbelievable. Well, let's just say don't go eat at that place. Don't go eat at that place. I wouldn't. But go here. Is anybody going to be in Loretto, Kentucky? Loretto, Kentucky what, before what? the are we middle be of to, September. Should we read, be able to read that? <laughs> You're supposed to. I, you know what? There used to be a better shot of it. So what is that? Loretto, is Kentucky that? is the home of Maker's Mark Bourbon. Yeah. And I'm, a, I'm an ambassador. I'm, I'm a member of their ambassadors club, which is completely free. I've talked about it before. You sign up online and then they send you gifts a couple times a year. Mm. I got a shaker from them, glasses, a little stamp with the, the melty wax thing to put your you know, initial on the back of an cool. envelope. It's cool. I love Maker's Mark. I love their marketing. And there is a barrel there with my name and a bunch of other names on it that will come due. Let me think about this. It has to be five, six. I don't know what the process is. Six, seven years since I first signed up for this. Maybe more. They so just tell you. <laughs> they have like thousands of people across the world that all think they have barrels at the factory. <laughs> they do. And nobody does. You can see the names. I can't see my name on this, but I, there was a shot once before. You could clearly huh. see Sam Zion mm. on it. But the point is, the most you can get out of your own barrel, which, you know, there's 20 other names on there. Mm -hmm. You can get two bottles, but they can't send them to you. You got to go to the factory to get them. Mm, to really? The distillery. Mm. So if anybody's going to be anywhere near Loretto, Kentucky, before the middle of September, when they, it will expire, when they're going to put it into the, the regular batch system, let me know. I only want one of the bottles. You can have, I'll pay for the both. You can have the other bottle. Wait, I have an idea. Yeah. Cook your way to Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> We're so doing that. God. Oh my gosh. That's cool. Let's deal with Kawhi first. <laughs> I got to check my, we talked about it. I got to check my fish. We talked about it at the top of the show. Oh no, I just. Oh, I see what yeah. you're saying. <laughs> Let me talk about this. Tamara Sheeler writes, and I quote, you are a for sure fat person hater. Oh, <laughs> Exclamation point. Mom gives a little smirk. You're not <laughs> even fat, she says. Did you ever stop to think that the person... So here's where this came from. This came from me talking about when Kelly and I owned a frozen yogurt store and largish people would come in and they'd order like a big, large, extra large chocolate with brownies and fudge and blah, 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 all that stuff. And in my mind, I would say, they come in, they order an extra large with brownies and fudge. And I, in my mind, I wanted to say out loud to them, no... How about a small strawberry with some fresh fruit on it? Mm. Tamara goes on to say, did you ever stop to think that that person ate your ice cream? It was actually yogurt. Because maybe it was their treat, and their is spelled wrong, after losing 70 plus pounds. I didn't stop to think about that, Tamara. I took a one day break and ate what I wanted after I lost 65 pounds. Some people cannot lose. Before you judge, think why medically this person is very large. I did love listening to you after just finding you a week ago. Sorry. When I heard the fat subject in a bad way, don't want to listen anymore. Sorry. Mm. Well, I feel bad about that. I don't hate fat people. No, I'm not a fat hater. No, not at all. I was referring to that one person. In fact, when I see people now, and I know I've said it on here before, my whole thinking about a large person has changed. And now I believe they're large. Maybe they were larger before and they've lost a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. But in that, I was just being honest about how I felt. Here's what I, what that makes me think yeah. that of course there are, um, obesity is not something that everybody can control. Yes. Yes. There are medical yes. issues. Yes. You need to be sensitive about it. Yes. You need to be, uh, respectful of people yes. who, who are large. 
but oh shit, I just lost what I was gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> you were doing so well. But um yes, some people are large, yes, some they have medical issues. But they still shouldn't come in and order an extra large chocolate, frozen yogurt with brownies and fudge and nuts. I had a good point. I don't know. Sorry, my point is like point. you're entitled to your opinion. She's entitled to hers. Exactly. I'm We're sorry sad that we lost watch. a viewer and a listener. But I mean, hmm. that's what this show is kind of all about on our website. It says uncut and uncensored. Sometimes mm-hmm. we say really dumb stuff on here. Kelly's <laughs> known for that. <laughs> known for that. Hey, you know what? I got to pull out the, uh, the Puta Nesca snapper. Oh, hell yeah. So I'm ready. Let's do it. I think it's ready. Let's go. I'm ready. You ready, Max? I'm ready. Are you ready, Lynn? Oh, yeah. Kelly, are you ready? Ready. Ready. Uh, 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 uh. Look at it. It's like Jiffy Pop. (laughs) Okay, it's not like Jiffy Pop at all. You have to be over here right on this, Max. This is going to be the important part. When you see this thing unveiled, ah, you cut it on, but it's hot as crap. Right. Get in there. Ow. Oh. Right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ow, oh, it's really hot. That's Maybe there's a better way to do this. Ah. Oh. <laughs> ah. Ah, shit. Yes. Damn. Wow. Ooh. I didn't that mean prettiness. for that to happen. Look how beautiful this is. I can see the little tomatoes popping out. Wow. Well, and look the moisture. At that. Well, look at Lynn. Well, look at that. <laughs> Who knew? Look at the tomatoes have all softened up, right? They started to wilt. Little garlic in here, the capers. Holy smoky. Let's have a little bite. Let's get some of the fish. Fish is moist and so beautiful. And I hope there's no pin bones in this piece, or I'm going to, you might see me die right here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. This can't be good. Oh, my gosh. But it is I don't good. mean to sound surprised. <laughs> it is a 10 and a half on a scale of 1 to 5. I'd give you a bite right now, Max, but you can't handle that. I don't mean you can't handle it. I mean it's too hot. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want the camera doing all this craziness. <laughs> wow. All right, folks. Once again, something we want you to make. This is the way to close out olive wheat. That's fantastic. And by the way, if you want to do this on your grill, do it on the grill. Don't do it over direct heat, right? Do it indirect. You know what that means, right? Heat here, food there, or heat here and here, food in the middle, whatever it is. That's the thing to do. You could make these things up, take them to a tailgate, throw them on a little grill, right there. Damn it, it's delicious. All right, thanks for watching. Next week, more fun, but every day that passes is another day. You may not have entered the Cook Your Way to Kauai competition. You got to August 16th. Go to the Sam Livecast, hit the button there, send in your information. We want you to at least have a chance of being part of the eight people that are gonna start the competition. Am I right, boys? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Am I right, Kelly? Right. What did I just say? No clue. Wasn't Thank you very much. I knew <laughs> I, I could tell. Off. <laughs> I could tell when I saw the look over there. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us. Tell your friends about us. And it's Friday. You can listen to me on the radio Sunday, AM 760 KFMB. Go to my website. Click on Eat This. You can listen to the past ones there. It's all good. Food Talk Radio for an hour. Just me yapping. All right. See ya. <laughs>